atrial fibrillation, catheter ablation therapy, catheter ablation, a therapy for atrial fibrillation is explained. Catheter ablation treatment is a treatment that can be expected to cure atrial fibrillation with less strain on the body. Let's look at what catheter ablation is. The left atrium of the heart returns blood from the lungs through four pulmonary veins. Many of the abnormal electrical signals that cause atrial fibrillation originate from the pulmonary veins. In catheter ablation, the cardiac muscle cells in the area where the pulmonary vein and left atrium are connected and at this boundary are ablated or frozen to create an insulator band. In this manner, the abnormal electric signals generated in the pulmonary veins are confined, preventing them from being transmitted to the left atrium. This is called pulmonary vein isolation. There is a method separately isolating the individual upper and lower pulmonary veins, and an expanded pulmonary vein isolation that combines two veins at a time as well as a box isolation that isolates all four veins at one time. So, let's look at the specific manners in which this can be treated. Catheter ablation has two types, radiofrequency catheter ablation and balloon ablation. Which to use is decided by the doctor depending on the condition and patient. In radiofrequency catheter ablation therapy, a catheter with a metal tip at its distal end is inserted through large femoral vessel and the base of the leg groin into the heart. After reaching the heart, the radiofrequency current is applied from the tip of the catheter to ablate the pulmonary vein inlet portion at about 60 degrees Celsius. The portion around the upper and lower pulmonary veins is ablated. There are three types of balloon catheters used for ablation therapy. Let's look at an exemplary cryoablation therapy. First, the catheter is inserted into the left atrium as with radiofrequency ablation. Then the balloon mounted on the catheter is dilated at the pulmonary vein inlet and cooled to minus 50 to minus 60 degrees Celsius for about three minutes. This freezes the cardiomyocytes in the portion in contact with the dilated balloon to necrotize the tissue. This series of procedures is performed for all four pulmonary veins. This is the catheter ablation therapy using a cryo balloon. A hot balloon warms the balloon to 60 to 70 degrees Celsius with radiofrequency current to cauterize the cardiomyocytes in the same procedure. A laser balloon irradiates the cardiomyocytes with a laser from inside the balloon to directly ablate the tissue. In this manner, there are several types of catheter ablation, and in recent years, the use of balloon catheters has been increasing. However, their indication is limited, and the device to be used in the treatment differs according to the patient's condition or morphology of the pulmonary veins. Because catheter ablation therapy requires moving the catheter in the heart and applying heat directly, complications may occur. For example, the site treated by ablation therapy may be perforated and bleed. Then, blood can be retained between the pericardium that covers the heart surface and the heart. 
inhibiting a sufficient heart dilation and reducing the blood pressure. This is called a cardiac tamponade. Treatment for it includes draining the blood through a fine tube. In addition, these complications are also included. Catheter ablation does not frequently cause life-threatening complications or complications with sequelae and is basically safe. However, if a complication occurs, it should be treated appropriately. Catheter ablation therapy has been explained. Did you understand it well? Atrial fibrillation is an arrhythmia requiring treatment. Consult a medical institution for any concern you may have or anything you cannot understand and receive appropriate treatment.